up everybody, my name's Kirk, this is Connect. Welcome, I'm super excited that you're here. At Connect HQ today, there is an art contest, but no one can win if they make a bunch of excuses. And our point reminds us of that. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. No more excuses. It's time to grow up. Fantastic job. All right, now it's time for one of my favorite things that we get to do in Connect, and that is worship. Let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. This is my favorite part of Connect, connecting to God through music. Worshiping God is making a big deal out of who He is and all He's done. And I love to connect to God through music. And you know, just dancing around in this body God's given me, like this. Especially here at church with all of my friends. So come on, sing, dance, worship, get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
Schedule. Somebody needs to go up to the observatory and clean the window. Not, not it. it. I said, I said it, it first. first. I'm not as tall. I can't reach high places. But you're younger. You have more energy and stamina. But I did it last time. I always leave streaks. But you're so strong. But you're smarter. Oh, hey, guys. Um, I just got done cleaning the windows in the observatory. But can one of you guys vacuum the floors in the hallway? Sure. Absolutely, no problem. Awesome, cool, thanks guys. Not it. it! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Tony, and this is the time that we learned there's no excuse for excuses. Guys, we got a postcard. What does it say? It says, Dear Connect HQ, I want to start a Bible study in my neighborhood as a way for me and my friends to learn more about God. Oh, that's a good idea. My mom's already given me permission, but there's still so much to do. We need to find a place to have it. We need more Bibles. We need to invite friends. And I'm so young, what if older kids show up? Maybe I shouldn't do it at all. Please help me. Signed, Lacey. Hmm. Lacey's come up with a really good idea. She's also come up with a lot of excuses for why she can't do it. How do we help her? Stop everything! What's wrong, Vincent? Wrong, au contraire. What is right? I have an important announcement. As you all know, 
we will be having our old company picnic this spring, giving everyone a chance to connect a school to, well, connect. Even better, we're inviting our neighbors in our community to join us. We, oui. and we will need a poster to tell everyone about it. That is where you all come in. Us? We, oui. the Whatnots group is sponsoring a poster making contest. You each will make a poster, and I will judge the winner. Mm, sounds fun. Will you all promise to make a poster for the contest? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll enter, and I'll win. <laughs> you wish. Come on, guys, let's get started. Ah, there you are, Harper. Oh, hi, Vincent. Were you looking for me? I was just coming to see how your poster was coming along. It's not. I was going to make a poster, but I decided to make a milkshake instead. I see. It looks like you started a poster, though, no? I did. I tried a few designs, but I just didn't like the way it looked. It looked too childish. So you just gave up? No, 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 no. It's never going to look right. <sighs> no more excuses. It's time to grow up. You don't understand. Oh, but I do. Years ago, I had an idea for a painting. It was to be the greatest masterpiece ever made. When I was done, I stepped back from my work, and guess what? It wasn't a masterpiece? Oh, it was a masterpiece. But it was not the greatest in the world. It was number six, or five tops. Well, these aren't masterpieces at all. And maybe not to you, but maybe to me. You can only get better if you just keep going. It may even lead to bigger and better things. How is that? When we don't make excuses, we show that we can be trusted with more responsibility. We can carry out the big plans that God has for us. But it's easier to just not do it. Is that what you would tell Lacey, who is trying to start a Bible club? No, of course not. What would you tell her when there are so many reasons not to do it? Well, I would say something like, no more excuses. It's time to grow up. Absolutely. Do you think that there's still time to make a poster and enter in the contest? We. Oui. Then I better get started. Bonjour, Mike. Pond skewer, Vincent. To you too. Uh, just doing some work. Well, I should hope you will not be too busy to finish the poster for the contest. Ah, uh, about that, Vincent. I'm not going to enter. I'm no good at art. Well, you do not like the looks of the posters that you made for the contest? I didn't even start on it. Well, then how do you know you are not good at art? Because I tried to draw an elephant once, like, seven years ago, and it was terrible. So you just quit? Mike, no, 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 no. This is not the way. It's just a poster. Why does it matter if I do one or not? Because you made a promise that you would. <sighs> you just don't understand, Vincent. Oh, mon ami, but I do. I was once commissioned by a man to paint him a bowl of fruit. I think to myself, what does it matter if I paint the bowl of fruit or not? So, I had a friend of mine do it for me. The man loves the painting so much that he went and told all of his friends. And they had this young painter paint bowls of fruit until he had more work than he could hand out. This young painter's name was Manny Monet. Wow, the famous fruit bowl painter. Oui, it could have been me. But I did not do what I should, and you did not do what you should. And Lacey is in danger of not doing what she should. I am thinking of what the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 17. Say it like this, James 4, 17. James 4.17 Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Oui. Those are strong words, but good ones. We should definitely share this with Lacey so it shows her that she needs to get rid of her excuses because they're preventing her from doing what she ought to do. Oh, don't you think that this verse could help someone else too? Yeah, it could help a lot of people. Oh, you mean me. Oui. You're using your past failures as an excuse not to try. You're right. No more excuses. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. Let me at him. Ah, 
Ce bonjour, Tony. Hello, Vincent. Listen, I... I know why you're here. Oh? You want to know why I don't have a poster for the contest? Oh. Listen, I'm... I'm really sorry. I wanted to do it. I just... I just didn't get around to it. Oh. Listen, I... I couldn't come up with anything, and so I said, well, I'll do it later, and... Then when I still couldn't come up with anything, I said, well, I'll do it later, and... Now I'm afraid it's too late. Oh. Listen, I... I know that's just an excuse, and I shouldn't have put it off, and... And, and I guess I let you down. Listen, I'm sorry, man. Stop giving me the third degree. <laughs> this reminds me of the Mona Lucy. You mean the Mona Lisa? The famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci? No, the Mona Lucy. It was a beautiful clay sculpture that I would have for my first art gallery showing. I was so young and foolish. What happened? <sighs> I had before me a big block of wet clay. I did not know where to begin. So I just look at the clay, and I look at the clay. But I don't begin sculpting. I look at the clay for so long that it dries up into a big block of nothing. Well, that's, that's sad. But, uh, but you know what, you were so young. It's okay to make excuses when you're young. Is that what you would tell Lacey? She is young. Well, Lacey has such a good idea about starting a Bible club, and I don't want the excuse of her being young to stop her from doing that. So I, I don't know what I would tell her. This reminds me of the Bible story with Samuel and Eli. Can you look it up on this machine here? Yeah, sure. Uh, is, is that the one? It's this one. This is the story. Is alive. Hannah was sad because she had no children. She prayed, and God gave her a son, Samuel. She was very grateful, so she gave Samuel to God to serve him. Hannah left her little boy at the tabernacle with Eli, the priest. Samuel helped old blind Eli. He even slept in the tabernacle while Eli slept in a room nearby. One night, Samuel heard someone call his name. He got up and ran to Eli. Here I am, he said. I didn't call you, Eli grunted. Go back to bed. Samuel crept back to bed. He heard his name again. Samuel ran back to Eli. Here I am, he said. I didn't call you, Eli sighed sleepily. Go back to bed. After Samuel heard the voice a third time, Eli said it was the Lord. If he calls again, said Eli, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel did. Samuel, God said, Can you be my prophet and pass my words faithfully on to my people? I can, said Samuel. And he did, until he was an old man. Wow, even as a young boy, Samuel ran to obey his leaders. He didn't say, I'm too tired, or I don't want to go. He didn't make any excuses. And when Samuel realized that it was God talking, he did not wait either. He went out the very next day and started spreading the messages that God gave to him. You know what? Lacey doesn't have any excuses to not start her Bible club, and I don't have any excuses to, to not do my poster. You know what? No more putting it off. That is just an excuse. The time to start is now. Yes, that is very... Oh, 
He really did me now. I want to applaud you all for overcoming your excuses and completing your posters. Zero, magnifique. So, who's the winner, Vincent? Uh, they're all winners in my book. Yeah, but whose gets put up around the neighborhood? I, I, I cannot choose. But you have to. You're the judge. And it is too difficult to pick one. That sounds an awful lot like an excuse. Well, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Oh, come on, no excuses. Pick one. Uh, come on, Vincent. No more excuses. It's time to grow up. I, I think I have some paintbrushes to wash out. And uh, don't you have a postcard to answer? Oh. Where is he going? Hi, I'm Tony. Thank you so much for your postcard, Lacey. Everyone here at Connect HQ loves your Bible Club idea, but it seems like there's lots of excuses stopping you. It's important that we don't let our excuses stop us from doing the things we know we ought to do. Just like how it says in the book of James, like this. James 4.17 Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. The time to do what is right is now, not later. When Samuel heard a voice in the night, he didn't hesitate. He ran right to Eli to help. And when Samuel realized that it was really God speaking to him, he obeyed right away. He could have said, I'm too young or I'm not ready. But Samuel didn't make any excuses. Mike, Harper, and I were full of excuses for why we didn't make our posters for the contest. Vincent showed us that our excuses were keeping us from doing what we knew was right. Getting rid of excuses is one way we show that we are growing up and becoming more mature in our relationship with Jesus. When we don't make excuses, we get trusted with more responsibility and get to live out the big plans God has for us. So don't let anything stop you. No more excuses. It's time to grow up. Good luck, Lacey. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. First place. I guess my work's pretty good after all. I could make a portfolio. Harper, the greatest poster maker of all time. Has a nice ring to it, huh? I could make posters for businesses here in town or all over the world. Here at Connect HQ, we know that there's nothing better than knowing and following Jesus. We don't want any excuse to stand in the way of that. So if you're wondering how you can start on the road to follow Jesus, listen up. It's as easy as knowing your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make the decision to follow Jesus, talk to your small group leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you want to know more about that, I want you to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today. All right, we have a verse. I'm going to say it. I want you to repeat it with me. Here we go. James 4.17. Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Fantastic job. All right, here's our activity today. You've got to catch an excuse before it slips out and keeps you from doing what you need to do. I'll say something. If it's an excuse, I want you to give a thumbs down. If it's a right choice, you're gonna give a thumbs up. Are you ready? Here we go. It's too hard to do that. That's an excuse. You wanna ask for help and try anyway. All right, here's the next one. I'll obey my parents later, not now. Is that an excuse or a right choice? That's an excuse. Obey now so you don't forget or finish late. All right, next one. I'll help when my friends need it. That's the right choice. Helping at the right time shows God's love. Here's our next one. That's not fair. Nobody else has to. Is that a right choice or is that an excuse? That's an excuse. 
Even when it's not fair, you still need to obey. All right, here we go. I invite all my friends to do church at home. That's a right choice. You're helping others learn about Jesus. Wow, looks like you can smell an excuse from a mile away. If you catch yourself giving an excuse, stop right there. Ask God to help you do what you need to do. We have some fantastic discussion questions for you and your family to talk about. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining me in Connect today, and I will see you later.